What about the RTX 5090? What happened this time? What kind of issues are we running into with the NVIDIA RTX 5090, which I will explain in just a little bit. And also I want to talk to you about AMD's Radeon RX 9070 XT that is supposedly going to release very soon, especially we are already halfway through February. So what type of issues are we running into with the RTX 5090 this time? If you don't know who I am, I'm Chris Mizo, and I love to talk about PCN tech. Let's get straight into it because I know you guys out there just want to know exactly what is the issue and what is happening. There was somebody on Reddit that reported that their RTX 5090 ran into issues. And this time it wasn't firmware related or driver related. This time it was through the 12X6 port the 12 volt power port. Are we really surprised about it? Because now from what he was saying, it's definitely not user error. This is exactly how he described it as I will have the link down below if you're interested in seeing that Reddit post. Quote unquote, he says, I am not distant from the PC building world and I know what I'm doing. The cable was securely fastened and clicked on both sides. He noticed a burning smell when he played Battlefield 5. The power draw was about 500 to 520 watts, and then he instantly shut his PC down. He noticed a melting smell. This is exactly what the aftermath looked like. He also used a third-party cable when he plugged in the 12X6 ports or 12-volt high-power port, however you want to call it which could possibly be the issue. Now it's hard to point out because he's one of the only people that have ran into this issue besides the other lab that gave a ton of tests to the RTX 5090, as I mentioned in my prior video, where they also use the RTX 4090's adapters as well to see how well it will work on the RTX 5090. But he did experience melting and you could clearly see the physical damage to the PSU and the GPU itself. It's a shame because imagine for those especially who spent well over 6 thousand on a gpu just to see something like this happen now i'm not saying that he did but he was lucky enough to get his hands on a rtx 5090 but unfortunately ran into this issue clearly he has to contact nvidia about it but nvidia did push out a statement saying that they are investigating issues with the rtx 5090 now it's not necessarily anything to do physically with the card, but it's more of the driver issues that happened on January 30th of 2025. They are checking these issues of bricking. And if you don't know exactly what happened is as soon as you update it, your RTX card, especially the 50 series for compatibility for the RTX 5080s and 5090s, that you'll notice that the card may not start where it may not even turn on. Some of the ports were reportedly not working, such as HDMI, DisplayPort, and you were unable to use your graphics card to even be able to play any of the games that you enjoyed. Now, they did have a hot fix for it. There are other fixes for the cards, reportedly. Now, some people are saying that it's not completely bricked, that it still does power on, that this is a, just an issue to where it has to kind of go into a BIOS reset for the card to work properly. There isn't a ton of details about that issue currently now, but what is interesting for those who are interested in getting an RTX 5090, especially the ROG Astral, where it does feature a for fan on the card to keep it nice and cool because we all know Blackwell heats up pretty hot, especially for how high the wattage has to go for a graphics card. Now it does feature a four fan competing with their Oris Master RTX 5090 where you can add a additional 120 millimeter fan if you want to keep that chip nice and cool because we don't want that card melting in our PC. After all, it is well over 2000. And if you are purchasing a larger card, we all know it is a lot more expensive, unfortunately, to these tariffs. And of course, other countries, such as the European countries that had to pay the VAT tax, we are paying a ton of money for a card and we just want it to work. 
We don't want issues happening with the card, especially you're investing so much money, enough money where you could actually even build a PC. Hence why the RTX 5080 would be a much better option for many of those who are just going to be using it for gaming. But for those who want to use it for AI learning, content creation, or 3D graphic design, it can be quite a pain getting the RTX 5090 because of the current restock. And if you're interested in knowing exactly when the restock will happen, it's going to happen pretty soon. It's going to be within the last month. And also, if you're interested in getting a RTX 5090, I highly recommend joining Zotac's community. Currently, they are one of the only few that are willing to raffle out their cards. They're actually tracking the serial numbers for those who are attempting to scalp their cards. That way, they could be banned from purchasing any other video cards that they currently have. Sure, it's not the perfect measure, but at least it is something that a company actually cares for the gamers themselves. NVIDIA RTX 5070 Ti is also planned to release of February 20th of 2025, and that is from several outlets. Videocards.com reportedly got in contact via manufacturer MSI, and they also claimed that the card will also be released during that week. It was also confirmed on MSI's official French website where they have a countdown timer, and on top of it, another re major retailer from France also confirms that the card will be released on February 20th of 2025. For all those who are awaiting AMD Radeon RX 9070 news, I do got some great news for everybody out there because AMD does have an official statement about when this card will be releasing because I know we're all dying on some real competition, especially because of the mess that this year has been, especially with graphics card. It was exciting at first with NVIDIA and AMD, but AMD kind of just let our hearts sink, especially at their CES 2025. Now, I can say that AMD does promise to be very competitive with their pricing, and they also claim that it will be even competitive against their own 7800 XT, which is pretty insane, which would be a great strategic move on AMD to do so. But we have little to known performance levels about the RX 9070 XT to see exactly what it can do. AMD also will announce a full visual and announcement of RDNA 4. If you're wondering if AMD really has a chance against Nvidia, especially because of how well Nvidia marketed their cards, even that their RTX 5070 could beat out a RTX 4090, even though Nvidia really pushed themselves to be out there first and tried to beat out the tariffs in order for them to release their card first on the market and be able to take more of the market share. But in a way it backfired because they had such a low supply of stock. They also had issues with the cards and just constant issues with drivers and ports and much more, which is insane, especially you're spending over $2,000 on a GPU. If AMD does everything correctly and does everything right, if they time it well, if they price it well enough, they have enough stock on top of it, there is a probability that AMD could compete with Nvidia. Even though it sounds unbelievable, it's definitely possible, especially if you are using it for gaming, that would be perfect. And of course you have other AI models out there that you can use on smaller GPUs, such as the RX 9070 that would perform without a hitch. It would be great to have competition, especially against Nvidia. Nvidia knows exactly how much market share that they have. Even with the faults that they have with their card, you'll see people out there still willing to purchase the cards even for 6,000 USD. Sapphire and other manufacturers are excited to release the RX 9070. They want to put it out on display. More than likely for those who were trying to purchase the RTX 50 series, might be getting tired of it and might be looking the other direction of going Team Red, which I can't blame them because look how much of a headache that NVIDIA has caused. Really think wise on what you want to get, especially when it comes to PC gaming or if you want to use it for AI learning or for whatever purpose of your choice. Bam, bam, guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is looking for GPUs or into PC and tech, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if you're not part of the big wonderful fan bam, make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. 
and all for the newest updates, make sure you follow my X handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. And make sure you follow the new Discord channel where we love to talk about PC and tech. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.